Okay, today we are going to speak about the Kafka in Kubernetes. Um, as usual, this video is coming from some test for a customer. What is the use case? In fact, you know that on OCI, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, we have a Kafka Managed Service. And at start, you know, using a managed service is a very, very, very nice idea because you have nothing to do. And so this is the best solution. But sometimes, okay, you need to manage things yourself. For example, the customer wants to manage Kafka himself in a Kubernetes cluster because he wants to be cloud agnostic and he wants to have exactly the same configuration of Kafka on their on-premise Kubernetes cluster and on different kind of cloud provider like Oracle. Okay, so in this case I created a Kubernetes cluster managed and then you can see that I have a node pool with three worker nodes. The worker nodes are VM where the pods will be executed. Okay. We can see here the three worker node. Each worker node, it's a VM standard E5 flexible. Okay. It means it's an AMD processor with four OCPU and 64 gigabyte, uh, gigabyte for each worker node. Okay. Then I decided to test a distribution of Kafka called StreamZ. StreamZ is a Cloud Native Computing Foundation project. You can go to the website of Trimzy and look, have a look to the quick start with Kubernetes. Okay. And then you can see on my cluster, I install first the Streamzy operator. Here he's running. After that, I choose a YAML file given by Streamzy, okay. This YAML file allows you to create a Kafka cluster. Here, I created a Kafka cluster with the number of replica is three. It means I will have three broker, three brokers for Kafka, okay. And I'm using a storage with 100 a gigabyte. Here, the type of the storage is GBOD. Okay, GBOD, what is it? GBOD is just a bunch of disk. Okay, it's a new way for StreamZ to store data on several, okay, disks. Personally, I just choose one disk. It means each broker has only one storage, okay, dedicated to this broker. You can see then here, listener, a listener for a plane communication or TLS communication, plane communication on 1992. I change the internal type to load balancer because I wanted to produce and consume messages in Kafka from outside the OK cluster. And you will see that my code has run on my laptop. But the Kafka cluster is in the tenant in Paris in France. OK. At the end, I have a Kafka cluster with three broker here. OK. As we can see during 
the creation of the Kafka cluster, three PVC were created, three PVC of 100 gigabyte. StreamZ detected that the good class to use with OKI is OCI BV. That's nice. And so looking here at the storage, for example, block volume, we can see the three PVC. Each PVC, each storage is used by a broker. Using a type of balancer, it means automatically the bootstrap server will be registered behind a load balancer in OK using the OCI load balancer service. I don't want to show you the service in Kafka because this is a public IP and this public IP I'm using it uh, for my demo, I don't want to give you this public IP. Okay, so just believe me, there is a public IP, and at the end, I have a producer. Okay, as you see, I produce one million messages, just say hello world, it runs very well. I have a consumer, and I recite one million messages, it was very fast in a few seconds, and at the end, I have so a Kafka cluster running on OKI very easily using Streamzy. 